we're at a Cocker Bottoms Waterfowl Refuge and Wildlife Management Area, and we're talking about a lot about quail today. And a lot of people say that early successional plant communities they look all weedy and grown up and everything, but if you will give them a chance, uh, they're 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 spectacular. There's lots of wildflowers that are important for. Uh, Bees and butterflies, of course, we've, everybody's kind of heard the word pollinator now and how important they are for all plant species, including the ones that we eat. Usually these kind of spots are never seen, they're never allowed to bloom because they're mowed. And uh, the, the, one of the most destructive things that we've seen for quail, and that's mowing. And uh, what I call recreational mowing, people don't need to mow it, or uh, but they think that that looks better and I'm just going to, I've got time on my hand, so I'm just going to mow today and not realizing how destructive that is for, for particularly quail, but the birds, the other bird species, and all the insects, the pollinators, the butterflies, the bees that really require these places, and they're wiped out. Of course, we're talking about early succession species and quail in particular, but I, I'm down here in the bottomlands talking about other things. In this case, we're gonna talk a little bit about waterfowl. And the other thing is that early succession, a lot of people say it's it's ratty or weedy or ugly or whatever. If, if you look around, it is one of the most spectacular, especially this time of year with flowers. Here we've got this bouquet, it's not for Matt, it's just some of the plants that are down here. So, you know, we're looking at the Bidens down here and I look at everything not only as beauty, but also as it does it have a purpose for wildlife. In this case, we're down in the bottom, so this would be like for a, a waterfowl manager down in the wetlands down here. And it also, the quail use these areas also. But this, this food later on, this, all this beauty and early succession, we created this with a disc. So we came down in the bottom and uh, late, as soon as we could get a little bit dry enough to do it, we disc this. Some areas we disc and burn, but this area we're looking at is a disc strip that we've made through here. And you see the response from all this Bidens. Here's some Japanese millet that's also growing down here in the bottom. So lots of good waterfowl foods as well as quail foods. But some of the things that, you know, we, we were just picking some of these flowers right here close by and absolutely beautiful, you know, Joe Pye weed, iron weeds, real purple. If they didn't have the word weed in them, everybody would be growing these in their house, around their houses probably. But they, if, it's a spectacular color. And they also have a function for me is the structure that they create for quail. Here is uh, Desmodium or beggar's lice, you know, Beautiful purple flower. It has these seed pods on it, and I've planted food plot after food plot in early days. And when we check crops of our quail on our late season hunts, this is what they had in them. This, and let's see if we had another one there. This and partridge pea was a, probably the two most common things that we found in crop. We had milo, we had millets, we had all these plants growing if, true food plots, and we found out these disc strips were more attractive to the quail than those places were. Now, those, those places that you did plant, in this case, we did have this some Japanese millet, if you let it go fallow, disc it, let it go fallow, a lot of this stuff that you did plant will come back, as well as all these other beneficial plants that we see through this strip right here. See the ragweed in the background? Again, you got the word weed in it so people don't like it. So it's, it's, it's genus is ambrosia. So if we went by and called it ambrosia, maybe people would like it. I've had other people come by and, and say, man, that food plot you got down there is really green. I want, I want some of that seed. And you go, uh, you want that seed? Yeah, look at that, it's green, it's in the summer. Man, that looks great. I said, well, it's ragweed. Oh, no, no, I don't want that. So that's what you get. So maybe if we just named it differently. Even here, look at this, this is a great wildlife plant poke weed. Now it's got this beautiful red stem, these purple berries. Coons eat it, bears eat it, quail eat it, songbirds eat it. It's, the nutrition off these leaves is really, really high for deer. This is a great wildlife plant, but because it's poke weed, nobody wants it. But it's a beautiful plant. So we're just trying, trying, to, trying to say that early succession is still pretty. Here's a cardinal flower. It's a really good, of course, we talk, we'll, we'll see some of the butterflies flying around me, bees, pollinators, which are very, very important. This cardinal flowers also, hummingbirds use it. So there's a lot of different benefits to this as well as beauty. Most people don't ever see this because it's been mowed four times. 
by this time or five or whatever. So they never let, they never, on the early successional place, they never let the, the plant actually flower out and see the beauty of the place. So that's sort of what we're a little bit, what we're talking about today. Now, if we're managed specifically for quail, I would get out of these, you know, wetland areas to keep it in early successions. It's a lot tougher down here, but it's also benefits waterfowl, so that's why I'm doing it here. But the quail also use it here. In, in the spring, right in this field that we're looking at, this has been disc and allowed to go fallow. And there was, this spring, there was cockbird quail whistling all over this place. I've got a little bit of video of that, but it, it looked dramatically different. But now it's made, it's great structure down there for, for brood cover. And, uh, and escape cover, so there's, there's definitely plenty of quail using this also. In, in every single place, wetland, upland, forest, all this, all across the state, we need more of these early successional places that and they're pretty easy to produce them with either a disc, herbicide, or fire. That's all it takes.